Those ELOs are pretty high all across the board. Beat list is more one-sided or lopsided, I guess. A, B, D. Yeah, I think VL's definitely favored here. Archer, Map no. draft looks wrong. We had expanse. Okay, give me a sec. Did I drop the wrong? Oh, that's the Pathfinders. Whoops. You're correct. Okay. Now the map draft is correct. Now Expanse... It's not. I gotta flip it. Now it's correct. Third time's the charm. Okay, we might skip Dark Age. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, they're 13 points when Plume and when Poom is Pume is here. So, okay, so they played with Pume instead of Dito. That's close enough to have a chance within three points. With Pume subbing subbing in. Or well. Okay, game one, we're gonna get right into coastal. I can, can pause. You share yeah, your screen? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm gonna update. Wait, who's on the left? Who's on okay, VL is on the right. Was it the beatless? Yes. That is correct. Okay. Let's go to the see all view. I'm not going to speed it up yet because there could be lames. And it looks like George oh. Ivan, maybe? Pume did say, did say nothing too important happened in the Dark Age. Yeah, it looks like they're just doing some standard scouting. Okay. We shall skip ahead. Alright, so Portuguese, Japanese, Berbers versus Huns, Georgians, Bulgarians. Who do you like more here? Hmm. I It's hard to say because I don't know Georgians very well. Now, Bulgarian flank. It could be like Men at Arms Towers. It could be Skirms. I guess yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Be... They can't do a crossbow, so they... It could be Scouts. They have to do scouts, I think. Maybe man at arms scouts. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that. I think it's scouts. He's got a mill. And it's probably going to be archers from Bowman. Now, Lucifer was up very quick. I think. Or was he. No, no, no. Lucifer didn't click yet. I was going to say, wow. Now the scout's onto the wood line. We're going to have to see how Pume handles this. They're waiting for Feudal. Feudal's in. Those two bills are exposed on the left. They don't have enough helping them. I think we could see a bill die here. Maybe not. Scouts come right, in. Well. It's going to get a bill. I think they'll get her. So George Ivan kills a bill. We see a scout trade off. Lemoyne wins the scout duel. If you're in the front, I almost would like to have seen the, you know, men of arms because the upgrade is free. You get three extra units. They're on the field. out. They're slightly late, so it is oh, okay. the free upgraded Bulgarian men of arms. Just one so far. Seconds coming are. out. Vils are going forward. Is it a tower? Is he on stone? Maybe just a tower because it's gonna be a it's tower. Definitely towers. So men at arms towers for Pume. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna make things messy. Uh, do the wood line. Yeah, maybe well, he'll okay. maybe he'll move it. Yep, it's, it's gonna this be on the wood line. 
a little risky because this th these vills could get gangbang. There's only two men arms. If and the vills were pulled, and I think he's pulling them. And there's also two other scouts that could help. George Ivan is pulling the vills. The walls come up. Good quick walls from Pume. This tower's going up. Absolutely. Needs to be wrong. walled in the rest of the way, though. Needs to be walled in. Oh, nice. House wall in it, it works. Wow. Tower's up. This is actually huge for the lower point team. I think this is the kind of game they need. Meanwhile, Bowman bringing in scouts. Looks like Lemayani is doing scouts. If there's a chance for an upset, this is it. Wow. The 13 point team taking it to Clan VL right now. Oh, but that's purple walled in a villager and she's going to use oh. that to beat down the tower. And I, that might be why this tower, I don't know. Although you could just delete your house. You don't have to break into it. I would, I would delete the house. Beginning of this next tower up. It's so messy. He's probably not realizing important. that he can just get rid of well, a house. Get the second tower up and then it just shoots the build that He's, just, in. he's gonna keep trickling the towers together. It looks like next one here. Uh, he should jump it. Okay, he so the men at arms killed the bill. Do they see the berries? He may not put that tower there. Tower going up for Lemoyne. Meanwhile, water looks like a fire is coming in. Yeah, I think if Lemoyne just walls and has that tower in front, then can't really tower Lemoyne's wood line. Yeah, and without a real wood line, you can't really go the archers. You need to counter the minor arms well. Like, it's three archers without fletching. Like, look, they don't even really hurt these vills. Especially uphill. Well, they're also firing uphill. Yeah, so. it's like the combination of both. Will the tower go up? It's going to go up. It looks like Daniela is, like... Not even contested on water. She's Man. got a fire ship on Lucifer. Towers killed another bill. What's the eco KD? Pume has killed one, three. Bowman has killed one. Okay. So that is big for VL. Like. And knights are if, out. If Daniela's eco remains untouched, she's gonna have a monster eco. Or he. I don't know if Daniela is a man or a woman. Oh, uh, it's a guy. Okay. So he, He's a guy. We'll yeah. have a monster eco. I think that tower that was aborted. Gonna put it slightly higher up. These are still no fletching um, archers. I think these towers are super paying off. The knights come in. Yeah, like, you never see a trush in a team game, but I guess if there is a map where it will work, this is it. Yeah, and they needed the Bulgarian flank for this to work. It was the perfect spot for him to be. I love it because I used to always pick Bulgarians on this map and hope that I'd get flank. I mean, you can even Krepos drop later, which is super sick. He's going to stone. Although, the archers are getting masked up. Okay, so... They the need fletching. Night, so we don't even, like, no one even cares about those archers anymore. And they absolutely where's, need fletching. Like, where's red support? He's, he, he's getting bloodlines, but no knights to be seen. And he won water, but how many fishing ships? He has three fishing ships, even though he won water. Beatless is be going to town. Yeah, Beatless is ahead here, Mameluke, and a lot of it has to do with how messy the Bulgarian flank towers men at arms made it. The wood line was kicked off right away of George Ivan, and he's just his eco's a mess. It's a 13 point team against a 16, and the 13 point team is upsetting game one right now. It's pretty. What I don't like is that Daniela is not capitalizing on the water that he won. Oh, like fish booming? Yeah. I know. Three docks, three fishing ships. Like as many docks as fishing ships almost. 
And still no fletching on these archers. They're almost worthless. I think it's a wood issue, though. He probably doesn't even have a blacksmith. He does not. Yeah. I don't know. I... Didn't... Castle H coming in for Bowman. He's going to be getting knights of his own. Lucifer does have yeah. knights out. I really think uh, Lucifer outplayed Daniela here. He lost water, but he's got the night mass, which is right now is kind of what matters. Yeah. Big fight under the tower. I don't think it's the place to be fighting. Yeah, he backs yeah. away. Well, finally, Daniela. Well, it's only one. Catching up in night numbers. And but as we say that. Bowman's going to start flooding knights. I want to see hmm. Pume get up and start dropping crop posts. Is he close? He just clicked. I almost would have, okay, th I there's going to be some crap post drops. Oh, that's going to get nasty. Yeah. I, I'm surprised that Bowman isn't going Cav Archer's transition. But... Just because they don't have an archer player on their team right now. Yeah, but at the same time, double knight can be very nasty to deal with if it's this messy and your flank is kind of dead. Yeah. Because you'd want your flank to get into pikes and stuff like that. And maybe that would have been better from Daniela, is to make pikes. I don't know. Quick wall's going up for Ivan. This is where cav archers could be good too, to pick those vills off. But the crab post, how's the stone for Pume? Another tower. I don't know if this tower goes up. That's a lot of archers. They do have fletching now. Yeah, these fills are going to get slaughtered if they stay. Wow, what a game right now. Tinville advantage. Castle Age is in for four out of six players. It's about to be in for Pume. Who has... Stone almost for a castle even, but I think it's going to be crap post. You don't need a castle. Because you don't have knights yeah. for stirrups or anything like that. Oh, and the dive on the TC. I'm not sure I like that dive. Well, I guess he's getting some archers. And he's got his... Here's the crap post. Oh, this is huge. You need oh, some knights to help the protect. These knights the can... can stop it. Yeah, I think this is going to go up. The archers might slow it down temporarily. I don't even know if they see it yet. Now he's realized what's happening. You gotta back away and get some wait. Picks. wait for some knights. This will go up. I wouldn't force it. They have so much right here. Yeah, this is just a messy, messy game. Another crap post. It's like, okay, I'll wait on that one. I'll build one over here. <laughs> I think they're both going to go up. It's just a matter of time. And look, all those stone bills of George Ivan, who's on his way in the castle, but he's got nothing. He's going to have... He's got full... What we like to call clown economy. Everybody on gold. And these vills have to dip. First cray post is up. These knights do not want to fight here. Second cray post up. This is Castle Age into GG for George Ivan. What a sick game by Beatless. I think they're going to win this. Team just getting fletching, so. These cray posts are going to be even stronger now. Lucifer dropping TCs. We see somewhat of a fish boom now. 17 fish. For Daniela. The crap posts are up. There's a castle going up for Lemoyne. That's important to stall this out, but he could get a crap post on his main TC. So even though that Daniela has 17 fishing ship, not really ahead of opposite super pocket and bills. Yeah, and I agree with Mameluke. This is amazing play from the underdogs. Like this is insane. And that, that's the only way to make this happen, is just make it messy as hell. 
it's not over. There is a fish boom happening, but they have made this a game. I think they're definitely ahead. And with no pikes, double knights is so nasty. I actually think knight, double knight beats knight archer. Although, when you get a good position like that, that's that's great. Right. With those upgrades. Oh, the conics. On to the only gold. See, they're, they're down a player. That's why this is hard. There's a TC. I don't even know. Oh, okay. I, for some reason, I thought that was the other team. So Ivan's going to try to reboom back into this. I want more crep post. There's stone for another one from Pume. He's got the Vils forward. He's got a TC. I think the next one, you drop it on the Japanese player. Lemoyne. What has... Uh... Okay, Lemoyne has been going... What until now? Lemoyne? I think just started making knights. Oh, no, no. What was Lemoyne going it's, earlier? It's double archer range. A uh, double archery range. But he got kills. I'm Dude, I'm, I'm forgetting now. What was he going? I don't know if he... Maybe he didn't go units because I didn't see him. Well, he got four... He got... Oh, wait. I mean, after his feudal age, he was... I don't know. He was feudal age scouts, I believe, and then yeah. Ooh, we see a counter attack from Daniela on Pume, who has everything forward. This TC could go down. This is big. He should be all over that eco. Yeah, that but really hurts. Then there's the cray post to defend, so he can't do that much with the knight. He should just keep going deeper. <laughs> yeah. He... Okay, so Think... he like got a TC, and that's a lot of farms. Wow. We're on that TC. Daniela now pushing on. Maybe gonna go hit Bowman. It stalls out their offensive. I, I like that counter. Because, yeah, their flank's yeah. dead. But you can just get more and more ahead, I think, here if you're the beatless. Just keep booming. Keep getting more ahead. But this is. Okay. Like, they. They have armies chasing, so it's not like. Yeah, Danielle can't single-handedly cleaning up Ecos. It'll get cleared up. I would maybe even get Fletching on the TC of Bowman. Oh, Pike's coming in now from Pume. So do we call Lemoyne Slenderman or... Oh, Lemoyne is the sub. Okay. Lemoyne. Lemoyne. Yeah. Oh, they said he went scouts. That's right. Yeah, he went scouts, but I just didn't see like anything in Castle Age. Now it's just and knights. I don't even know. If, range. I don't even know if knights were the plan. It's just kind of so messy. Knights are always good. Another raid coming in. There is a crep post. Although the wood line. Yeah, this they're... is really exposed. Oh, great find by Daniela. Oh, but there are some pikes though. Like, the knights don't want to... Like, yeah, you don't want to fight this. Knights, you don't, don't want to fight this. It. There's enough pikes now. They're going to handle this. I think Daniela will continue to try to counter raid, especially these exposed farm bills. Does he know they're even there? He does not. No, there's a mill. Now... Purple is trying to kind of boom back now. We see a castle even going up, a TC over here, TC over there. So purple's not fully dead, but way, like half the bills of Lucifer. The fish boom though, 100 eco and coinage is coming in for Daniela. I wonder what the res are going to be sent to. Yeah. And unfortunately, like. Wait, what the hell? He hits a bug why does coinage say an hour <laughs> it came in and now it says an hour okay okay that was that was okay. weird but uh if you're daniela what do you do here i think i feel like you almost have to like get cavalier and just flood as many as you can do what damage you can yeah i think the problem is daniela is making so much 
knights to stay in this. There's probably no imp in sight. Oh, well, imp is in sight. Just click up. Yes, and tons of res in the bank. Oh, Daniela could actually carry this, even in this position. Like, they get, Portuguese get fully upgraded cavalier, so they've got a little bit of window of time where yeah. they're pretty... Hume needs to click and get help. But he doesn't know necessarily that uh, Daniela's up. The fish boom really paid off. Daniela is the win almost, condition. I would be saving those knights, but they're all low HP. This is the crop post I wanted a while ago. The, and yeah, now. that's... Because if you take yellow out, I mean, red can't really 3v1 here. No matter how much fish boom Daniela has. No. And there's 25 pikes of Pume. Those will become halb as he goes up. It's going to click any moment. Alright, Pume is... No hesitation for that next gray post. Just deny TC. Looks like they had a pause at one point. I think Clan VL is dead. Hume is up. Uh, oh, look at that. The next create post foundation already up. Like, this is, <laughs> just, this is just... I love it. Snowballing. There's, like, yeah, you're going to get Imp. They'll play on because of that. He's probably saying, guys, I'm Imp. We have a chance. And some camel archers are coming out. They're, like, running out of room. They're going to have no gold. That's the last Picking gold. A big night fight just before imp. That's wow! Look at this yeah. castle too. They're gonna both go up. They are. And then... The castle will kill the cray post, and it will. But like in the meantime, you've got all that farm space that's denied. And everyone's imp on uh, the beatless, and they're they're all fine. I... Their ecos are untouched. Okay, I don't know if Daniela realizes how that he's fighting right under a Kraypost there, but he's losing a lot oh, of Oh, that's a good just point. Before upgrades. I think he just realized it. It's like, wait, I'm not just banging that down. Because he's done a good job trickling them to where they cover each other. Mm hmm. Who needs archers? This is just full cav and pike. But the cavalier is coming in 30 seconds before Pume hits Imp. So not not a huge window of opportunity to get the stuff yeah, done. And there's Manaspas now. I hear those are incredibly broken, you could say. But I mean, there yeah. are Civ drafts, so like it's Quite if a George team gets them and uses them. Yeah, once you get like, to me. a mass, I guess, I guess they're almost as good as the latest, but with four relics. Wow. That's actually insane. So they don't need relics to own. I hear a treb. The crab posts will go down, but the crab posts have got so much value. Yeah, I think those are monaspas. And if they get masked, will shred the cavalier. Bulgarians get cheap ram upgrades, so right after ca capped, I'm sure siege is coming in. There it is. Only costs 500 food to get siege ram. It's insane, with Bulgarians. So they're gonna die to halb siege, Manaspas, knights. I, I you can't stop this. They have done a great job moving their eco clan VL as much as they can. But I just I love how the beat list is pressured from the get go, and it's never stopped. The only breathing room was when. Daniela got those raids off for a little bit. Other than that, it's been full gas for the beatless, taking it to the yeah. 16 point team. And I wonder what happened to Lem Lemoyne because we didn't see much, if any, military from him in Castle Age. Yeah, and Pume is playing this so well. Set up the towers, set up the crep post. Now he's going. I want to see how, but I'm sure it's coming soon. But. Siege rams, pikes. Yeah. They they can't stop that with this comp. And Halb is coming it's on numbers in. Numbers alone. Once the Halb siege rams arrive, I think we're gonna see the GG. 
I think we can see it before then. Well, they're sort of holding, but yeah, look at this. Look at that, dude. This castle. <laughs> I wish we could spy cam. Yeah, Pume has done an incredible job. Like, not only does he have Vils board, and it's mining stone for all those cray posts, but he's also got an eco behind it to basically be ready to go as soon as he has it. Right, the sub coming in clutch for the beatless. I think he is clearly the MVP of this match. I mean, Lucifer's doing well too. He's got tons of Manaspa, 31, super boomed just, up. Almost. Like, why are those Manaspa not everywhere? Is he waiting for upgrades? I think he's just pushing. Like, with the Siege Rams, you don't really have to raid them. You just need to kill them, and that's what they're doing. Well, they're just sitting there. They're not even... Okay. Did he get Beganes? Did Did Pume get Beganes? I don't think he's got it yet. I didn't see it coming. I guess uh, we could look at the armor on these. No, he does not have it. Elite Manaspa coming in. Okay, maybe that's what he was waiting for. They keep relocating this eco more and more north and east. But Sea Drams kill all. The thing about Sea Drams is they soak the damage too, so the Manaspa could probably come in and clear all that. He's waiting for Elite. Now, Lemoyne does have those Japanese halbs, which are terrifying to any cavalry oh, unit. Those are Japanese halbs. It's a little late. There's so Beganes. There's Beganes. This is just so much stuff flooding in. It's and not. And Begains, that's the tick that gives them plus five melee armor on the champion line or the Paladin swordsman line. Yes, Paladin coming in. We're gonna see the Vils, I think, start to plummet for Lemoyne here. I mean, even even Daniela's yeah. losing some. It's just like how long. It is over. Wow, dude. How look long are they going to boost the opponent's Eco KD? Right. I want to see the Eco KD. There's the okay. GG. What an insane game. Lucifer, 88. Eco KD, 88 and 32. Pume with 35. I think that was all set up by the Bulgarian flank. The Beatless did not play like a 12 point team, they played like a 16 point team that game. Yeah, and I've always said ELO doesn't save you if you're hurting early, pressure, something goes wrong. It doesn't just like, it, yeah, it sort of helps, but it doesn't make up for getting hit off a wood line and not making the archers when you wanted to. And, and Pume says, my team didn't believe in the Bulgarians pick. I said, trust. I love it because it reminds me of back when I, first made this discord with my original buddies i always played bulgarians on this map and i always wanted them on flank because it was sort of similar to what you did i just love that style here um man that was tight last pick in the draft the wild card pick well we'll get the mvp pull out uh speaking of which uh-huh i don't think you what uh do you have the sibs right um possibly not i think you still have the previous matches sibs up let me check okay mvp poll is out i think you're right okay let me update the sibs thought i dropped it in there Thanks, Sean. Wait, yeah, there we go. There's the Bulgarians I was looking for. Oops. Get your votes out. A few seconds left on the poll. Looks like Pume's getting the votes. I agree. I think that was just game winning from the start what he did there coming in as a sub because they didn't win water that's that's both um 
games today where the team that won water lost. Yeah. I think the tricky thing about water is you got to get the commitment just right. Otherwise, otherwise you can't use your advantage or you, you blow your advantage on too much Navy investment. Right. Okay, the beat list. Congrats on the MVP, Pume. That was... Where is it? Coastal Forest. Who is he subbing for? Ditto? Pume, did you, did you sub for Ditto? Yes, he did. Okay. I think the other thing that made that tough is this Jorge Van... Jorge Ivan Sandoval something. Mm -hmm. He's their high ELO player, and he was uh, the super flank, and he just got pretty wrecked right away. Yeah. Everything went like according he... to plan, says Pume. It certainly did. The 2K was kind of just taken out, and then what do you do? He was 2K, and then he got depression, fell to 1500 after that set. Yeah. I hope not. It's best of threes, though, so anything can happen. We're going to get into game two. And the home map of Clan VL is Lowland. I think this can be harder, but we'll see what happens. Yes, much more meta. Lowland is as close to Arabia as this tournament gets. Yeah, that messy map. It's kind of what they needed, I think, to pull an upset. I'm going to fast forward the beginning. Actually, what are the sieves? So we have Tatars. Let's put on the mode Bob likes. Tatars from Lemoyne. The other flank is Mayans from Slenderman. And Hor George? Did you say Jorge? Jorge. Is... It, is, it is Jorge, isn't it? <laughs> If it's a Spanish or okay. pronunciation. Jorge with the Franks. Pume with the Ethiopians. Lucifer with the Khmer. Bowman with the Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Now it looks like Bowman going for a lame. He's... Maybe just more sheep. Just... Yeah, the four lames is risky here it sure is i'm gonna speed it up doesn't look like a lame is actually gonna happen civ wise though i almost like i want to say these civs are dead even like you've got franks versus khmer two really strong pocket civs depending on the stage of the game right the khmer fall and off late you've got three of the four arguably best archer sieves then you have tatars which is kind of you know very situationally good i think so overall yeah maybe slightly favoring the beat list for sieves but it could go either way they like good sieves all around i think yep I'm curious to see this fight in the east. It's once again... Oh, no, no, it's a Mayan. I thought we had uh, Vietnamese against Ethiopians, but they're on the same team. Never mind. Mayans against Ethiopians. Let's just skip to feudal. We'll follow um, VL. They're up first. Where's the stable? A little late on the stable. I think he was housed, maybe. The house was rushed. And Lemoyne putting the ranges up. Oh, looks like there was a scout fight. I missed that. They bullied the scout. Flare to the right by Teal. Okay, those are 
I don't think he can do much to stop this. You're just gonna lose scout HP. Oh, this is awkward. Base is walled, but the gold is exposed. I think he's gonna extend that wall forward as time I, goes I on. wouldn't have even made this, maybe. I don't know. Go here, go that way. Yeah, that is a horrible gold, though. It's like a big waste of wood, in my opinion. At least take the back one. I don't know about this. But... I think it can work out as long as he is on the offense. Get pushed off and has time to wall that or finish that wall. Go team beatless says Adel. Yeah, I think everyone's pulling for these underdogs right now. How's it going, Neos? To be fair, like Lemoyne is a minus one, like takes one point away from their team. So it's oh, really is this a thirteen versus, versus a fifteen? Okay, that's why this is so close. That's that's close enough where it go either way, but definitely still underdogs. That was a big upset in game one. Fletching is not in for Bowman at the moment. Lemoyne does have Fletching. Now this is this is oh, thank you. bad for bad for Bowman Oof. if Lemoyne does not. Park yeah, under the TC. TC got a big shot, but it's still like, yeah, Bowman's in a terrible spot. Yeah, this could get out of hand really quick for Bowman. It already has gotten out of hand. He's off gold. And Pume, it's pretty neutralized here. We'll we'll see the fight. Looks like Slenderman's getting the better end of it. Mm. Pretty close, actually. It's. That went bad for Slenderman. He's dead, but uh, he's getting the yeah. It, good this shots. can't go bad for him. Or it's... He's getting good shots. I think he's gonna clear this. I would have. I would have closed the ground though. Once once you had those four weak. Wow, Pume actually some good micro there. Okay, yeah, Does he just goes kick the him gold. off the gold, and you need that when this is happening to your other teammate. So yeah. at least for the beat list, they're losing here, but Pume kicking him off the gold. Gonna get the Vils, maybe? Yes. I think that one's oh, definitely gonna die from the uphill shot. Maybe. Maybe. This is messy, man. Pume likes messy games. Well, I think Pew just outplayed Slenderman here. He has. This isn't even like Absolutely. him making it messy. He's just out, out class. But I mean, messy right? fighting archers this way, Vils chasing that way. Just kind of messy style, and it's working. Now, there are skirms coming out for Slender, so eventually Pume will not be able to fight this anymore. Now, the Vill advantage, support. Clan VL, they've killed six. Jorge's killed five, Lemoyne's killed one. I think it's the idle time is the big difference. Yeah. 315 Bowman, for Bowman. Look at this mass like, growing in the east. There's skirms. This is where you really want... Yes. You want like two scouts. You just ask your pocket, can I get like two scouts over here? And it'll or clear you just say, screw it. I'm going to go support the other side. Yeah, you well, could hit the other side know, too. Everyone converges to pocket. That's the other option. Pocket's walled. I think you just ask for like two scouts and you wipe this army. And that's exactly what they're doing. Two scouts goes a long way when there's skirms mixed in. As long as the scouts yeah, don't die ahead of time. Not like that. <laughs> and they need armor. They need armor. He's going to go to pocket. I don't think he'll find damage. Pocket is walled. For the most part. Slenderman doing a good job tracking the army. Even the wolf's going to land a kill here. Possibly. Nope. Almost. Yeah, and on paper... Pume and Slender are about the same ELO. Another like pocket's getting hit. versus seventeen twenty one. Fortunately, he's Khmer. Tower's gonna go up. He was on his way to castle. This is the last thing he wanted to be hit right now. Yeah, this this beatless team just isn't walling as well. Yeah, it, it's kind of an ELO thing too. Usually, a pocket is. A higher elo pocket is walled by now. And I think that's really where 
a big difference is. Lucifer Scrims. is 1800. Jorge is 2k, well, almost 2k1. Blue is here to clear the purple archers. They're, they're gonna jump him, it looks like. Pume's still kiting this army. I'm sure he's got a second army. Although, Pume is kind of getting sec into the wrist. Okay, there's a second <laughs> army. If he's got that army tracking him, he eats easily. Could get trapped or jumped by a few scouts. That's why I would have loved to just see the armor and a few scouts to clear red. But obviously, we have the good view. He might have yeah. thought pocket was open. I don't mind a pocket rotation earlier. But this time, when they're like on their way to castle, kind of asking to get cleared. They're saying update the scoreboard. I oh, did. You, you yep. did already. Okay. They, they, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. It wasn't updated until he said that. So good looking out, chat. Okay, blacksmith coming down for Lemoyne. Probably gonna click up once that black. The did I say blacksmith market? You know what? He is being annoying. And I think we missed an army cleanup here. What? Because Slender is no longer on him, and the uh, Pume is well, just beating they down. they fought the two armies. Did I miss? I think those two scouts from Lucifer. Oh, they they oh. finished it off. Okay. But <laughs> now Jorge is knights, so that army may just die. Yep, it will. It has pressured the pocket a little bit, though. He had to build a, little, a second layer of walls. He's getting shot on his wood. This army they, is whatever at this point. Didn't really do significant damage. I think I'd rather have those archers still alive at home. Yeah, it's not the kind of damage that Lucifer took. Lucifer is 39 vils to 40 of Jorge. Jorge also has Will Barrel. B list does have score lead. They are 10 vils behind, but they have a big military advantage. Big military, 10 vil advantage. Mm -mm. Tech advantage. Well, sort 25 of a... military advantage versus 10, 11 vil advantage. Oh, yeah, you're, the beat list has. I see. Oh. But, uh, oh no, they're even further ahead because two of them have wheelbarrow, whereas nobody on the beat list has right. wheelbarrow. Clear eco so lead. closer to 20 bills ahead. So it's on the beat list to get some good damage here. And Lucifer does not have plus two. So these uh, archers can kind of trade well. Well enough. Plus two now coming in. You got to get these knights out. Oh, he walled them in. Lemoyne walled those knights in. They have nowhere to go. But Lemoyne's eco is kind of out in total kind of. mess right now. So the knights got some value, but at least. You know what? It's crazy. He has like the worst. Well, I guess red's even in worse shape. Looks like big raids on the pocket. The problem with the pocket is not walled. Jorge can just yeah. keep flooding him. And I think that's the only going to get worse. Slenderman. Is awful. Slenderman's here too. You could probably send all your knights here the rest of the game and Pocket might die. And I think that's what it comes down to. Like the flanks might be in trouble, but the Pocket kind of is doing well. It's the important one you want to keep alive. Yeah. So carry. So Jorge is in a great position to carry this game hard. Bowman is coming. Problem is these yeah, these knights can just run away too. So this mass doesn't really do anything to clear. I mean I guess it could push him out. Yeah, and Greensville's are horrifically low. Almost and almost half of Jorge's bill count. 
so have archers from Lemoyne. We do see Pume being aggressive. I think he's the only one that's like okay right now. 45 bills to 38 for Slenderman. He's winning that side, but it's not enough of a difference to make up for what's happening to your pocket. And these yeah. archers could even get wiped, possibly. Let's see. Yeah. Will he go back to the pocket? He is. He kind of like fake left. He's going right back. Yeah, he's almost got the mass where he could just dive. Unless he's going to go wipe this. I don't know. He might. Oh, he's going to hit the flank. So Pume also not walled. Oh, this is going to hurt so much. The importance of walls. And now Bowman's gonna come here. Yeah. But once again, the knights there. can just run. These archers can never actually kill those knights. And the cav archers are in your pocket. I think we're gonna see a GG. And this is further apart than the score says. I think, okay, so now VL has military advantage and a huge eco lead. Yeah, I think we're going to see Expanse. The yeah, two, it came down to the pockets here. The 2K is getting his chance to shine this game. Yes, finally a game where the high elo player doesn't die. <laughs> right, it's been a trend. I think this is over. I'm going to jump to two times. Yeah. The knights don't care. Just kill. How many stables is yellow up to? Four? Let's take a look. Three, Three. stables. It's just getting worse. 30 knights. 69 bills. It is over. Green can pretty much sustain two stables if his eco was not untouched. Or I if think, his eco was untouched. Yeah, I think they'll play on, but... I feel like this is completely over. I'm going to keep speeding up. Yeah, there's the GG. So VL bouncing back to make it 1-1. One, one. Let's get an MVP. Pull. Wow, we're going to see game three. Sick. Did not expect that. Oops, I have the wrong name. One sec. Jorge Lemoyne Slenderman. All right, one minute MVP poll. What do you think of that, this series so far? I loved game one. Game two, I think, kind of went as you might expect it. The difference came down to the pockets. Yes. It absolutely did. Like, if Lucifer was walled like Jorge was, then he might not have taken the sort of damage he took, and then he would have been able to keep, at least on paper, keep up with the Franks player. Right. So beatless. Losing game two. We're tied up. MVP looks like it's gonna go to Jorge. I think well deserved. He was a beast. And now we have the decider. Um the decider will be on Expanse, which is, we, we've had, th I mean, this is a set of three very different maps. Yes. Expanse is about as close as, uh, cl as close to arena as this tournament gets. 
players have more opportunity to boom. Right. And, you know, different players play better or worse at different stages of the game. So I really don't have a sense of who has the edge here. Yeah, I'm hoping this is the right game. I have three different ones. Ah. Uh. So I'm going to fast forward. Okay, an instant re, so it's not this one, I don't think. Nope. I'm going to have to shut my screen again. Whoops. Um, okay, we'll try the next one. Oh, it's probably this one. There was also an admin re on this. Someone had a bug map. All right, game three. I'm gonna fast forward just to make sure that this isn't the admin re. Yes. Oh, this might be. Yes. Oh boy. Oh, it's one stone. Now, did only one side get one stone? Weird. This is, I. We test <laughs> these maps now. All of a sudden, they're having Absolutely. issues. Absolutely. Wait, how long did they wait to get the admin re? Not very long. I, I messaged them right away. They got an admin re, and then they did it again, and... No, I mean how... No, this isn't an admin re. This, this is the real match. There was an admin gone. re right before this one for the same thing. This is the game. This is live. Okay. I think... Because I don't know if you're supposed to have two stones inside your base. Yeah, this is the real match. Because he said it was at seven minutes. This is the correct one. So we got Slenderman with the Koreans. Oh man, they got Bohemians flank and Spanish pocket. Those are some sick late game sieves. But it looks like there's probably going to be a Kuman boom with flanks going feudal to defend and help make it work the other team is just fc and clan vl full fc if the beat list is going to win this it has to be like castle age early imp yeah they the need Cumans would be what they need to, to win it though they need the cumin or the cumin um power spike to really pay off the Cummins. Gotta love that now, Civ. Is everyone just fast castle? Or No, I think it's futile for the flanks of the Cumin. And the other team is all FC. But I think the issue well when did they go up? They it seems like a little late up for the beatless. Like they could have probably got more damage a little earlier futile. 19 up, maybe. Because they may very well get away with these FCs without any kind of damage. Doesn't look like there's going to be any real threat. There's an outpost. But the main thing is they have to buy the Kuman player time. Yeah. Kuman is booming away. Taking the front berries. There's a lot of berries and little ponds, shorefish, hunt. It would have been insane if this these if the TC was oh, except farm space, maybe not. Well mine getting some scouting. Oh, there's something going on back here. So the oh, bill was spotted. Bill. The bill's gonna die unless some quick walls or something have. Oh, I think she's dead. Tried. Yep. Didn't get it off. And here comes the archers. Oh, 14 minutes. A good bit heads late. up play from uh, Lemoyne to bounce out before those archers got there. Probably gonna patch it up. Yep. That was uh 
Well done from Lemoyne. Take no damage. Now Bowman also has a few archers. Where are they at? They're just now leaving. When your team, when your opponents are up late and you had early feudal, I think the archers need to be forward so immediately. Yeah, this is a this is too late. Strangely late archer play they're doing. Yep. Although you... blue is up to castle age, so he'll he'll have crossbow. That's a good point. It was like a slow FC for blue. Or did he just start making the archers on the way up? I don't even know. I didn't really pay attention. I have a glare. Just give me one yeah. sec. That's better. Something is happening in front of Slenderman's base. Ooh. All right, so he's just trying to keep the archers out. Um, that market needs to be canceled. I feel like that died. Let's take a look at that. We can back it up. Did he get the wood back? I think he did. 285. He did. He canceled. Wow. All right, so... Now I want to see the cumin. The cumin's going to go up right now. If he has the buildings. Oh, the building's not up. Cumin's going to be up a little bit later than it could have been. He's also only 10... Well, 14 bills ahead. But, that but will it's also how long they've been working. 14 bills ahead with wheelbarrow. And they've been, you got to think they've been working a long time too. It's a big res difference. Mm -hmm. Armor coming in. We're going to see the night floods shortly. There's a castle ready for Slenderman. Who wants to go war wagons, I think. Yeah, at this point, war wagons, I think, would be decent at least. Yeah, where will he put the castle? Yeah, where does he build them? He's build gonna it. put it like Cause... here. Can you build it on this? I would almost like delete those walls and that blacksmith. You know and what? Drop it you can't actually burn. build a castle on this this hill. See, so you had to put it down there. Yeah, I I think that's a decent castle because it needs to secure that gold at least. I actually had a game where I was booming and there was a big threat coming for all my farms. I deleted the starting TC and put the castle here. <laughs> Not something you normally do, but that's how I, I know you can't build it on this terrain. Yeah, and sometimes that hill is really important to keep. Right. All right, so four TC boom for yellow, four TC boom for purple, two TCs for slender. These guys are just going to try and boom it out. The cumin needs to it kill. I mean, maybe even a forward job siege. Good Bowman to punish Red's greed. That is Adol. Bowman to punish Adol. Red's greed. Yeah. I mean, he's trying. He's definitely trying to punish it. Right? He has position, but I don't know if he's done any real and damage. I'm pretty sure Bowman is Archer and Archerino. Archer on Discord. Bowman in the game, Archerino on Twitch. Okay. It's crazy how many different names everybody has, but you start figuring them out. So good wall by Lucifer. And he's going so Step he's... Lancers. I kind of like that on a map like this. Yeah, starting with Step Lancers. Archer was taken in game in here as well. I see. Alternate names for it. He's no longer ahead in bills, but, uh, you know, at this point, it just comes down to can he flood enough knights before Yellow's boom pays off? Right. Yellow trying to boom it up. He is Spanish. He is going for a really greedy boom. Not even a barracks yet. The barracks just now coming up. Now, are the step lancers going to go to him? Man, they could do massive damage to the pocket right now. 
Yeah, plus if two I were is him, I not... would be like. It needs like plus. The win condition. They know how good that they know how good Jorge is. They need, they need plus two. Him. Oh, these scorpions are in trouble. I wouldn't even care about a few garrison vills. There are some spears though. Yeah, plus two armor is really important, especially if you're running under TCs. Oh. Uh, yeah, it is. It's coming in now. A little late. Step, but the flood. Step. Oh man, this is a swarm of these things. It, this is honestly the best situation for the beat list. Being a lower underdog team, you have the Koomans that make games weird, just like the Bulgarians in game one made it weird. Yes, but I'm not sure they're focusing the right player. Or I'm not sure he's well, focusing the right player. Damage is damage. You need damage. If you can kill, if you can kill anyone, if you can make this a two v three, I think you can definitely win. All right, you, yellow is getting a castle up, so it's going to be a lot harder to do damage now. Now these him, war, yeah, these war wagons could be an issue. I mean, you could get anything you want with Chinese pretty easily. Yeah, war Some... wagons on team games. I don't know what I think of them. <laughs> He's going to get in. Hits the villager through the gate. This gate should go down, I would assume. Maybe not? Weird. I don't... There's just too many bills. Building. Yeah, I guess so. So, Blue's reaction to the war wagons is monks. So that's a nice, a good response, I think. Yeah, the problem also... Now... The Spanish player is safe at home, Jorge. He didn't saw, see what we saw, though, to know that it was good to go right there. The thing I do like about hitting Lemoyne, though, it, Bohemian late game is insane. So and that could factor into why he's hitting Lemoyne. Yeah, and the castle... <laughs> totally missed that. The castle going yeah, on... This, he's going to be making cap rams? Dude, purple could totally die here. He's getting pressured on the left. Oh, this is this is big. They need yellow. They need Jorge. He's getting the knights out now. Okay. And the war wagons are says, getting cleaned. That also says he really likes Chinese and Kumans here. Lucifer says he did hit yellow. Oh, he did. At the bottom TC. So yellow has lost three bills. A little bit of damage. I I like going for the uh, the Bohemian though. You don't want to deal yeah. with Bohemian Halb. Hoofnitzas. It's probably the most annoying thing for the Kuman to fight here. But again, I. My bias is towards uh, getting the really strong player out of the game. Because we know how strong Paladin. Yeah, I, I get that. That's definitely not going to happen. So I think, get it, get the next castle on him. Get the Rams in. You just need this to be a two v three. Your other flank is doing yeah. fine. No BBC sieve says Pume. Yeah. But yeah. you got your Bettos. You got kind of what you need to kill here, I feel like. This castle, this is huge. I don't think that's going up. Those rams could even kill it. Oh, I want to see that. He's going to abort. Well, well the Gabettos, I love the Gabettos. The rams here. aren't protected. The, the Gabettos need to shoot that knight. Gabettos are very good against knights. Ooh, a lot great more knights Pike. coming in. Castles... Going up, also getting beat up. The not, I I would like capped rams, man. It seems like that could have went a little better for um the beatless. All right now, Green's got to get his his units out of there. Yeah, right, Pume needs to buy amp. I think he's going to. Okay, yep. so Pume, he yeah, just bought he amp. needs to get up to amp. He gets the imp, he kills that castle. When the push on the right is stalled, imp is in. They're still in position to kill the bohemian here. 
If all goes well. well. Lucifer is up to nice 98 vils. Probably would be good to have a bit more. Lemoyne, he's at 64 vils, but he's not out of the game. They've definitely made this a game, the beatless. I, I like how the underdogs have played it. They're ahead on Vils. They're ahead on military. They have Imp coming in. And, and this this feels like their game to lose right now. I think they have all the pieces. Imp also coming in for their other flank, Bowman. They're in control. They could do this. They could pull a massive upset on Clan VL here. Wow. I think this game is a little a little closer. It's, it's definitely good. close, but I'm saying this is definitely winnable for the underdogs, which is insane. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> to some degree, I think they're on a timer. I guess Chinese late game, they can go Chukanu. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I think the Bohemian's in big trouble. Yeah, okay, so Malians have pretty good for Imbacamel, which almost nullifies the oh. uh, the Spanish. It all... So, I guess they're fine late game. Uh, yeah, I'd like the Kuman to actually switch to Knights now. Knights and Camels. Yeah. Yeah. Knights, maybe even Camels. There's just so many Knights that um, Jorge is now kind of bullying Lucifer a little bit. Okay. Now he's adding Camels. Look at all these capped Rams. Yeah. Uh, now they're complaining about ads. Few minute ad break in the middle of the game. We already snoozed all the ads we could last set. Alright. Freaking Twitch ads, man. I, I honestly wish you could just turn them off completely. But we're back. And for those that have just returned, I was saying how this seems like all the pieces are here for the upset. You have more military, you have more vills. You have Imp in on soon to be two players. I think if the Bohemian dies here, Clan VL are not going to win this game. Although, if Slenderman goes onagers against those Chukanu, <laughs> you know the counter to Chinese is onagers. Yes, but I think the counter to onagers is 3v2, which we could very well see. Yeah. I don't care what he goes. If, if they turn this into 3v2, now there's a push on the right too, so it's sort of a base race. Who can kill who first? But I think having rams, that kills a lot faster than unit killers. This is pretty much a bunch of unit killers. Yeah, they can beat down TCs, but they can't kill as fast as rams. And trebs. Jibeto's covering everything. Yeah, Lemayne is definitely looking... Like, he's about to be dead. But, so is Bowman. Yeah. I think it's on Lucifer to clean, or, you know, help him before he loses all his eco. Because right now, he's still 140 bills, so he's yeah, he could have not lacking bills. Big all. losses here, depending on what happens next. Imp is going to be in soon for Jorge, and there could be a big power spike. Especially with his soon-to-be Cavalier. And the Kumin. Is the Kumin getting close to Amp? Sort of, yes. Kumin could uh, just stop production for a second and go up. Okay, those Gabettos need to stop sitting under the castle. Yeah, the Rams are sort of going down. I would let the Trebs finish yeah. this off. Mine's going hand I, I would here, save the Rams here. Oh, Lucifer is halfway Amp. Wow, I didn't even realize that. So he's Amp and has res. Now, the push is sort of stalling in the south. They cleaned it up. Dude, yeah. this is the Beatless's game, man. They got this. This is insane. So them pushing that... that, Well, pushing that push back is... I think but, maybe what they needed to almost secure this game. And this is... Honestly, I know you said the, the high little player is the big threat, but I think Bohemians were a big threat, and they took them out before they could be. I love who they focused here. Gosh, I didn't I expect I didn't expect I, this, but they did everything they needed to pull an upset if they close this game out. 
The Kumin pick and the Bulgarian pick. You gotta play differently to beat people that are better than you. I really like that Gavetto choice by Zium. Right, now here comes Ivan. These elite Gebettos, they are. They can actually fight decently well against Cavalier. He's gonna wait for Paladin. Some raids on the right. Paladin is coming in for Jorge. I think he's out of stone. No stone left for Lemoyne. But I don't think that's enough Gabettos to fight those. No, it's units. not. I know Yellow wanted to wait for Paladin. He's not going to be. Okay, just snipe the traps and run. Yep. Saving the castle. Then go get Paladin to take the fight. He bought some stone to keep repairing it. That's important to keep that castle up. Uh oh. This castle could be sniffed out from Jorge. Farimba on the way. Where's Farimba already the in? He's got the out. He's got the counter to the... Wow. Yeah, that's... that's the counter to the Paladin. Yeah. Like I said, the, the Bohemians were like the thing they can't deal with. And the Bohemians are not doing so well. Castle is going to get denied on the left, it looks like, temporarily. That's Spanish trade. I don't know if the game's going to go long enough for it to even matter. I don't right. think it is. Raids Although, coming in. What's the eco KDs? This game really isn't over. 53 eco KD and 8 for Lucifer, 66 for Jorge. Yeah, no one's dead dead. This did sort of stall out, but it's, it's still continuing. Trebs are coming out. This game honestly could grind on for a lot longer. It's well, just that Jorge is kind of, he's I, kind of lamed. I a think the bit. problem. The camels everywhere. The problem here, you have Farimba camels, you have Jabetos, you have Trebs. Like now, Jorge can't come and save Lemoyne. Yep. Without a lot of something to help. So. Just push on the so right. Yes. I think I maybe you base race it. Slender is probably going to win his 1v1 versus Bowman, but... I think you full send right if you're Jorge. You gotta win this side hard. Because you're going to lose the left yeah. side. This this isn't going to be stopped if the Camels return. That castle, he's done a great job of keeping it alive, but it's just a matter of time. A few more seconds, it's going to be down. Bob, are you trying to say people were disappointed with Hidden Cup? Congrats on having a more interesting and actually competitive stream compared to Hidden Cup. Facts, lol. Yeah, I, and this... Uh, go ahead, Sean. I haven't watched it at all. I haven't been following it. I think it's kind of the beauty in the system we have for this tournament. It's focused on making it balanced and entertaining. That's, that's what makes games fun. People are saying, don't watch it, not worth it. You guys in chat have been awesome with all the support, too. I'm glad you're loving this tournament. Shortest lived castle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm loving this Let's tournament. Build a castle under four trips. Sounds like a great idea. Depression castle. We don't have Hera, so it makes it 10,000 times more competitive. I know, stinking Hera, man. He, he just ruins everything. Wow, purple going down. I don't know if the base race is going quick enough over here. I Spanish can no, make siege rams. I would get some siege rams in the mix because this is base race city. The thing is, there's like nothing stopping Teal from just rolling right over yellow once he gets to him. Yeah, you need a lot of paladins masked up to deal right. with it. Like all, all that Slenderman has is war wagons, which are like good but and not that good look at this pume is even rotating he's been amazing this series he's gonna rotate to the right now to help get the big clear which could seal this if they if they end this push i think their armies are all going to coordinate together 
for one big jump. Yep, that looks like what's about to happen. They're just waiting for it. There is keeps. There's bombards. Here comes the jump. All right, the halbs come in. Time. There's skirms. Camels. Oh man, it's so many camels. For him, but camels. Gosh, those things wreck. GG. Thanks for playing. I mean, <laughs> it's almost all you needed was the camels. Valians have an amazing track record in this tournament, don't they? They do. And uh, I think Pume, and the, I mean, Lucifer's been great too. Look at his Eco KD, 142. It's a, it's a big team effort here. I'm not saying it's all Pume. Pume has played well, but Lucifer we can't discredit. And Bowman just holding. So the, the three of them just played so well, the teamwork. And he left Le Lemoyne right when he knew, like, okay, he's limping. I'm going to go help my boys in the east. He's limping. No, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. He's, There's nothing left to kill. He's crawling. He's not even limping. He's got one arm dragging him through the sand. Man, I, I didn't expect this to be such a good set. This is sick. That excites me. I was like, I'm going to go fishing, guys. No, no, this is, this is dope. I will still enjoy the fishing, but man, we had three sets today, and this has been the best one. So, thank you for saying cast this set in Discord and not spoiling it. They just told me it was messy. I was like, oh, Beatless must have like kind of made it somewhat competitive. No, hell no, they are winning this set. I don't, I don't see anything stopping that from happening. This is the first big upset of the tournament. I think there will be more, but this is the first. And I think this beatless team, you can't sleep on them. They they do um almost off meta stuff. Or unique strats. I wouldn't say off meta, because Kumans are great here, but just make it work, man. Find yeah. a way to win. That's what winners do. Just find a way. I think giving Kumans giving the other team Kumans on this map is just crazy. That's uh my opinion but yeah we saw lighty um have an amazing game with kumans too i think they're 2-0 and on this map if i'm not mistaken after this one so we'll probably start seeing kuman bands when this map is played and it is going to be the round five gg is called the beatless wow what a set wait are they blue congratulations on that set holy crap one of the best sets of the tournament. Man. 216 eco KD for Lucifer. 142 for Pume. Of course, Bowman doesn't have a good KD because he's the punching bag, but he but bent. He still has 116 bills when the yeah, game he ended. He bent so. and he did not break. I love that. Wow. That was that was insane. I'm curious to see who gets MVP for this. Um, I think they all did so well. Yeah. Indeed. MVP. Was it Bowman? Lucifer? I mean, I, you almost wish they all could have it with a performance like that. And in, in a way, like, they all had to do such important parts to make that happen. Gosh, that was, that was so dope. Yeah, I kind of want to give it to Pium just because, like, he was... But, you know, they all played as a team. They all did their parts. They all did what they need. Yeah, he's kind of yeah. like the the playmaker, or he sets it up. Like, the, the two wins they, they had. Well. And then the other yeah. two close it out. But, what are the APMs, by the way? Holy crap, look at Jorge, 98. Wow, there's only a few players that have been 90 or above. Wow. It's, yeah, th there's... Pume is the lowest APM. Look at that. Yeah, that's... that shows that you don't need APM to play this game. Right. I love people that point that out too. They're like, bro, APM, yeah, it's sort of important. I think as long as it's 35 or above. And what was Pume? Yeah. 39. Yeah. 35 and above, you're good. 
Less than 35, yeah, some things are probably going to be a little bit slow. Congrats, Lucifer, on the MVP. Man, that was insane. Thank you for not spoiling that, guys. Wow. That, that makes it way more exciting for me not knowing what happens. And the viewers. Everybody, really. You didn't vote just to be clear. Okay, well, the people voted for you, Lucifer. You were an eco-destroying machine. And the Kumin pick, I think that was needed there. You had a 2K pocket against you. Wow. Game three. But let's be fair. Kumins can be strong. I think I've even killed like Rob with Kumins. That's that's why it was so perfect. Like you're you're playing a team that should be favored at least point wise, and you took it to them. Like we saw the second game, it was brutal. But game one and three, man, they were in the driving seat the whole time. Calling the shots. Hitting who they wanted to. It was like they're very good at pressuring and keeping it on their opponents. Yeah, that's what they. You know, that's what they shined at. Like, let's not be passive. Let's just pile it on. And Absolutely. Adel says, oops, it on. forgot to vote. I think you all did great. Did your part, respectively. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of, like, your team even, Adel. You guys had great teamwork to pull through on that set. A lot of, I mean, a lot of teams have good teamwork. The ones that don't, though, you see it. And I think it'll continue to improve as chemistry builds throughout this tournament. I didn't play a game in three months before the tourney, so will take some time for me to not be that rusty. Well, you're only going to get better, so it's just up from here. And you're winning anyway, so love that. And yeah, no problem. Absolutely. I love the casting. I'm loving all these games. What are you thinking of this tournament, Sean? Definitely stepping it up a notch in terms of uh, the madness. Madness. More variety than the last one as well. I mean, this map Not different maps alone. Much different maps. I think we've seen it played completely different every time. Expanse. It's a different start. We've seen feudal aggression. We saw a team just FC here get punished. Um, I don't think anyone has it figured out. I think several of the maps are still like that. No one has them figured out. We got five weeks of Swiss stage to just watch. It's like a mini season before the knockout stage. And it's only going to get crazier. We're going to have more data, more stats. Um, it's funny. We found out why the scoreboard's not even loading instantly. We just have so many stats and things intertwined. It just doesn't load that quick. Like You'll probably see a 2-1 pop up shortly for the beat list on the screen. But a lot of six stats. Um... I'm going to link the donations. For those that don't know, there was a $250 donation yesterday, anonymously. And also a $10 donation from... I forgot what it's called again. Let me pull up the donations. Spring Stream, I think? Dev was playing on their stream and some yeah. community games. And they, they give out money to the winner of those games. And he had them donate it to us. So I think that's super cool. Along with the other... He's not even playing in this tournament. Yeah, and he's contributing. So, I love that. Let me get the donation links before we wrap this up. Alright, I am going to jump out now, so... Alright, I'm going to update will... the brackets, but thank you for casting, Sean. Yeah, it was fun to cast this one. Yeah, this was sure. sick. Glad I got to do it, so... We'll see you all... Bye-bye. All right, man. See ya. Okay, we'll get the up the brackets updated. There's the Discord. There's the donation link. Thank you, everyone who has donated and all the follows and support and all of that. I hope this continues to grow and get better. I have loved this tournament especially, I think, more than any of the other ones in the past. There's just a cool vibe or something going on with it but massive upset a three a two one to the beatless 
So the brackets are all in. We'll get them all updated soon. I have to get the stats in for these games. But once I actually know the winners, I don't think anyone else cared if anything was casted. Let me know if you do. But we will get you guys the brackets shortly. Or today. Probably in a few hours. To know who you are playing in round three. Stay tuned for that. I assume Hidden Cup is over. I haven't seen it yet. I may check it out. I heard it was okay, but it's never that entertaining if something's not competitive, so if it was a stomp, I get it, but other than that, I'm Spencer, this is the AoE2 Underground, I'm gonna be signing off, the Winter Crown slap down, round three is pretty much officially underway, we need to get these last games logged in, and you guys can see your matchup, I'm looking forward to round three. It's going to be on, I think it's Pyrenees. Let me double check. Pyrenees will be the opener. I think we're going to see some interesting strats on that map too. It's not going to be Re-City like Coastal Forest was. So that's nice. But other than that, guys, I'm going to get going. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all later.